Let's simplify the fraction 6 firsts, and here's how we're going to do it. We're trying to find another fraction that has the same value. It's an equivalent fraction. It's just that it's in the lowest terms. And to do that, we need to find a common factor for 6 and 21. Let's list the factors for 6 and then for 21. So when I look at the factors here for 6 and for 21, the greatest common multiple, that's going to be 3. That's the largest number that goes into 6 and 21. Let's move this over here. So we could divide 6 by 3, that would give us 2, and 21 by 3, that gives us 7, and we've simplified the fraction 6 21st down to 2 7 and we can't reduce this any further. There is another way to think about this. We know that 3 times 2, that equals 6, and we know that 3 times 7, that equals 21. So you could cross these out since they're the same, and you'll end up with 2 7th again, same as we got before. And note, if you divide 6 by 21 and 2 by 7, you'll get the same answer. They're equivalent fractions. It's just that we reduced 6 21sts down to 2 7 This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.